Hello and welcome back. I'm your friendly neighborhood technician. Today we are going to get the cylinder heads put on the V12 here, the M120. So we're going to need to clean up the block here. We're going to need to clean up the underside of the cylinder head, the mating surface right there. And I have the head gasket for this side and the other side also. There are two different part numbers for the head gasket. There are, because there's one for this side, one for that side. So uh, we're going to go over all that and we're going to get the cylinder heads torqued down properly. So let's get to it. So first thing you want to do is you want to clean off all the oil from all the surfaces right here. Um, the, when you put all these pistons back in, you're probably going to have a little bit of assembly lube left over from when you installed them. So you want to make sure this surface is nice and clean and dry. And you're going to want to use something that's lint free because you don't want any of this going inside the coolant passages and blocking up some port that doesn't need to be blocked up. So we have two different head gasket sets. You can see right here, A120-010-1320 and A120-010-1220. Now, the 1220 is gonna be for the driver's side and the 1320 is gonna be for the passenger side. If you can't remember it, you can see right here that the block is shaped different on this side than it is on that side. So you can see that this one right here, you can see this right here will not fit right there because it's, not the right shape you can see right there but the other one does have that shape right there and it fits right like that on this side so this is the head gasket for this side you can see that the head gasket set comes with a brand new head gasket and it also comes with all the different washers and other miscellaneous small gaskets like that tiny gasket right there. And you have these other small gaskets also and some O-rings. And then you also have exhaust manifold gaskets. This, the front cover gasket, it goes right like that or like that. And you have a seal, which is gonna be for the front cover. All right, one thing you want to do before you have the cylinder head set on there is you want to measure the head bolts because there is a maximum length for these head bolts. You want to measure the distance between the bottom right here and the top of the head bolt right here, not including the top of the bolt right here, but up until right here because the maximum this can be is 171 millimeters. Their uh, brand new is 168. This one actually measures 168.3. So you're going to need to get something that can measure uh, up that far and uh, not counting the washer so you want to take the washer off and then measure the total length of the bolt right here also what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure if you didn't send the block out to get clean like i did you're going to want to make sure all these threaded holes for the head bolts are clean of oil and debris or anything like that because you're going to need the head bolts to torque down properly and if you have build up in there especially at the bottom you're not going to be able to get the head bolt seated properly and you're not going to have uh, proper torque on one or more of these uh, head bolts and i suggest getting help of a friend and now you're going to set the cylinder head on now you can see the head set on not held down but 
We're going to get those bolts thrown in there. Okay, now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to oil the threads of your head bolt and you're going to want to oil the uh, surface of the contact surface of the head. So right here and your washer also. Now we're going to do that a bunch of more times. Now I'm going to tighten them up by hand. One thing to note is that the head gasket is not watertight until the engine has reached its normal operating temperature. So uh, what you're going to want to do is before you pressure test it, after you get it all back together and running, before you pressure test it, you're going to want to let it get to operating temperature first because the head gasket has to swell and there has to be a swelling, uh, like a, a temperature increase and decrease um, for the head gasket itself to be watertight. So you don't want to go ahead and um, do a pressure test on it at 20 PSI with the head gasket and the cooling system still cold before you start doing that because you might have some leakage, you might have some um, water blown into oil passages in, in where you don't want it to go. So just something to pay attention to. So your tightening sequence is going to be three stages. You're going to want to do one stage of 55 Newton meters and then you're going to do two individual stages of 90 degree turns. So you got the the torque wrench here set to 55 newton meters right there and we're going to start with this one so the tightening sequence is going to be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and as always you're going to want to use slow smooth turns Now you're going to want to do your first sequence of 90 degree turns, which is a quarter of a turn. So you're basically going to go from, from this to this, or from this to straight down. And now we're going to do our second sequence of 90 degree turns. Well, the camera might have cut off the last bit of torquing down this side, but now as you can see, I got both sides on and they're all torqued down and looking good. Well, here it is. Head's installed, so um, that's it for this video. Another short one, so thank you for watching. Make sure you give me that thumbs up and hit subscribe, and make sure you hit the notification icon so you get notifications when I post a new video. Thank you for watching.